quick and easy. That's the name of the game today. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, we're going to take this Dollar Tree photo album and turn it into a really cute Christmas idea. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel, friends. Thank you all so much for choosing to be here today. I know you have other things you could be doing, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. Whether you are new to my channel or you've been with me for a while, I am just glad that you're here today. So as I said in the opener, we're going to take this Dollar Tree photo album and we're going to turn it into a really cute craft. Now this is going to be perfect as a gift or something that you might want to sell at a craft fair or something you might want to keep. I'm going to flip to my overhead camera so that I can give you a close-up look at what I'm talking about, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at that 4x6 mini album that we're going to be using. Some of you have seen me use these on the channel before, but if you're new to my channel, maybe you haven't seen those particular videos yet. But these are sold at the Dollar Tree, and they're $1.25. And I buy them because they have good bones. So we're going to take this and we're going to turn it into this. So like I said, I'm doing a really quick little Christmas craft. And what is this? All it is, y'all, is it is a little mini chipboard photo folio. So here on the inside, I have a place for a photo here and a place for a photo here. These will hold four by six photos. Then on the back, I added a pocket. And in that pocket, I have tucked a cut apart but we can also tuck a gift card or some cash if we want. But I thought that this would be so cute for a Christmas memory. So you might want to make some of these and just set them out. Baby's first Christmas or your first Christmas as a married couple or just fun Christmas memories would be great for something like this. Now I made this for Christmas, but as y'all know, on my channel, we do any season, any reason, any one paper crafting. So when you swap out this paper, you can use this concept for any occasion or for any one. Then I decided just to close it with one of my little clips like that. And now you can see how simply cute is this. Easy, easy to make. Here's what we're going to need to make it. So I have one of the four by six photo albums. I have one of my little pockets that already has the adhesive on the back. Cut apart. I have two white mats that measure four by six, and I have two background mats that measure four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And the papers that I'm using on this project, I am using the standard papers that I use to print on. You can find that paper linked in the description box below. This will be available on my website, but y'all, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and remove the inside here. So all I did was took this out. Now I tried to find some ways to use this and I couldn't really find any because this is too flimsy for me. I know that some of you are saving it to use and if you're able to do that, great. But for me, the projects that I did try to use this on did not give me that look that I like to have. So this is one of those things that I probably won't be saving. Then here on the inside, I'm going to remove this and I will save this because this is a nice little piece here so we might be able to work that into a future project. But what you want is you want the bones of the project. Now if you don't have a photo album such as this one, you can take two pieces of chipboard that are cut at four and a half by six and a half and then a piece for the spine that is cut at three quarters of an inch by six and a half and you can lay those down to give you this same book look. And it'll look like this. Now what I've done is I have already added tape to the back of this. I could have used peel and stick on this. I wasn't even thinking when I decided to go ahead and place down the tape. But when I'm peeling away my tape backer, And then I'm going to take my book and I'm going to slide it over like this and place it down. 
then I'll place that down and then we'll place that down. Then I'll use my finger blade to miter my ends. And now we'll just stand up and now we'll just fold over like this. Now I'm using these beautiful papers on this project, but papers like this are perfect for other projects as well. So now if you find that you have any pointies on your corners, just go ahead and tap those into a hard surface and it'll get rid of those pointies. So now we have our so now we have our jacket like this. I am going to bring in my scoreboard so that we can measure for size. Now this is measuring at 10 and a half. We're going to reduce it by one quarter for the liner. So we're going to reduce it to 10 and a quarter. And this is six and three quarters. We're going to reduce this to six and a half. So I am going to go ahead, flip this over so that I can trim. We're going to trim here at six and a half. And then we'll trim here at 10 and a quarter. So now I'm going to take my tape and just place some tape here on the inside and I definitely could have used peel and stick for this part. It would have made this go by a lot quicker but it is completely up to you how you want to do it. Now on the book this thin I would not use glue because you might warp your board. So I am using tape. Now, if you don't want to use tape on your projects, you definitely don't have to. If you don't want to use as much tape as you see me using, you don't have to do that either. But please make sure that you are checking the description box if you have questions about some of the products that I might be using to make this and any other project that you see me make. If I have a link, you'll find it in my Amazon storefront. And the link to the storefront can be found in the description box of my videos. And if you don't see a link, then I don't have one. Or if you happen to go out and the item is no longer available or it is sold out, I really don't have an alternative. So what I'm doing here is I am placing tape along the four outside edges. And then we're going to take this piece, peel away the tape backers, and we're going to join these two like this. So let's go ahead and peel away our tape backers. We're going to take this and place it like this. And then I'll bring in my big old spatula, getting that stuck. And then we'll start to work our spine. And then I'll turn it around, work the spine from this direction. Go in and really get good definition on that spine. And so there we have it covered inside and out. So now I'm just going to take my white mats. I'll take my tape runner and we're just going to add some tape to the back of our mats. And 
and we'll place them down. Like this. And then we'll take these and we'll put them right there. So I'm going to add some more tape to the back of this one. We'll take this piece and put it right here. Add tape to the back of this one. And we'll take this piece and put it right there. So then I'm just going to grab a sticker. We'll put that sticker right there. And then I'll take this sticker and we'll put it right there really keeping it very simple. Then I'm going to flip over to the back. We're going to take this pocket, peel away the tape backer that's on the pocket, and we're going to place this right there. Take this little cut apart, put it in right there. Then I'll take this sticker that says A Perfect Christmas and we'll put it right there. Then I'm going to take these little metal corner protectors and I'm going to put two on the front. And I'll be able to put these down using my reptile adhesive. Again, please make sure that you are checking my Amazon storefront link if you're interested and things like the corner brackets here. So let's put those down and then we'll add the glue to this piece and then we'll put it down. And we'll just need to give this about 15 minutes to really set up and dry. Let's take this one and put it right here. I'm going to take my clips and put those down to hold these in place while they dry. And then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I think that this is dry enough to remove our clips. And you can see how nice and stuck that is. Now I use reptile adhesive and I put that adhesive on so many different things and it will stick. So I'm just going to take this little clip here and this is how we're going to close it. Now you can add a belly band if you want. You can close it with crinkle seam binding. I am keeping mine very simple, but you can get as elaborate with yours as you like. I really like how this has turned out. We took a really not so cute Dollar Tree mini photo album, four by six, and we turned it into this. So when you have your favorite picture from any occasion, you can place it inside. You can set this out on your desk at work. You can put it on the mantle. You can put it on a bedside table. You can put it anywhere. And I think that this would make a wonderful remembrance or memorial piece for a loved one who might have passed away. But I think that this is just so sweet. We're going to go ahead and place our clip. I'll bring that first one back in so that you can see just how gorgeous these are. This is some clean and simple paper crafting. We're not using much in the way of supplies, but look at what we ended up with. So I am going to go ahead and just open these one more time so that y'all can see just how stinking cute they actually are. So go ahead, give this a try. Even if you don't have the mini photo albums, the measurements that I provided will give you the same end result. 
So I hope that you have enjoyed today's fun, quick and easy project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.